Yo, what's good, skins? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, we definitely had to hit up this latest vlog from my man Ryan Up Church because, uh, in case y'all missed Alpha Tyler's uh, interview with me, um, I, I done said, you know what I mean? Yo, I react to everything that my man Ryan Up Church puts out, whether it's music or it's vlogs. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. If it's a Ryan Up Church video, we're going to react to it. Because that's just what we do up in this piece. Shout out to the Creek Squad fam, by the way. Who's always having my back. You know what I mean? For, man, a good minute now. You know what I'm saying? Man, pretty much Creek Squad. I mean, a majority of y'all pretty much have been my, 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 my day ones. So, you know, I definitely had to hit up this one for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because Creek Squad, that's why. You know what I'm saying? R-H-E-C all day, every day. Yo. So, yeah, let's get right into this, man. From my man Ryan Up Church, this latest vlog video that he's got out, it's called I'm Leaving the Internet, dot, dot. And uh, for some strange reason, I highly doubt that because uh, if it's anything like his My Apology video, then I'm pretty sure it's a safe bet. My man ain't going anywhere. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out once and for all what's going on. So once again, from Ryan Up Church, I'm Leaving the Internet, dot, dot. Like to see and hear. Hear. Go. You thought I was leaving. Isn't that cute? You you can't get rid of me that quick, fucking. See, what what, what I tell ya? What I tell ya? You know what? My volume was down, so let me raise it up a little bit so I can hear my man better. All right, there we go. I think we're good to go. Now, I know there's a lot of people here from my apology video of me not saying an apology at all whatsoever. And if you're new here, there's two things you need to know about me. One, if I give a fuck about something, I really give a fuck about it. Facts. Two, if I don't give a fuck about something, I really don't give a fuck about something. And with more facts about something I really don't give a fuck about something and with all these new people coming in they really I don't think they understand me I don't think they understand that the way my thought process is and the environment that I choose to keep myself in has kept my common sense and my common decision making to a bare minimum if that makes sense it's more simplistic it has it has nothing to do with uh, uh well, how are we gonna say this or how are we gonna tell the media this how are we yeah, around here, we don't, we don't do that. I'm a common man with a very uncommon life, which is why I think this is so fun to me. This whole, the people in the comments and stuff, it's, um, it's like going to the gym for me. It's like, I really like the mind games. The mind games make me happy. Like the kind of person I am, you know, you see a lot of celebrities over the year have, have broken down and have done crazy stuff like shave their head, like uh, go ballistic on the internet, mm -hmm. make these videos of this. Yeah, that, that is facts. When it comes to, you know, certain people on the internet trying to troll this man, this man can troll with the best of them. So have fun trying to out troll him. Guaranteed that is a losing battle for you, my friend. You know what I'm saying? And bruh, bruh, this guy is... It's all about the mind games, like he, like, like, like he said. You know what I mean? <laughs> you are not going to fuck with this dude. And and about what he said about these celebrities and how they act on the internet. Oh, yeah. Them tripping out because of the comments that they're getting. And they're doing weird, stupid shit because of the comments that they're getting. I believe that. I believe that. Just like a certain, you know, mainstream um, rapper... Who goes by, uh, well, I like to call him Slim Wokey. That's how we're going to talk talk about him up on here for now on. Uh, yeah, my man Slim Wokey, apparently he don't like being criticized. And he'll, he'll tell you all about it on, on his tracks. You know what I mean? He'll write track after track after track after track. Bitching and complaining about, people are talking about me. They're criticizing me now because and they hate me because of my status. And, <laughs> and all this other bullshit that doesn't make any sense. That makes me sound like a generic rapper. Tell me where I lied. Let's go. Them like totally breaking down on camera to show everyone. That's never gonna happen with me because I haven't stuck myself in an environment where I have to do that. 
And that's what I love about my career. I don't, I don't have to stick myself in these situations where everything has to be golden to the viewer. Because that's the thing. In life, nothing is all golden. Not, not for me, not for you, not for the guy working at McDonald's, not for the guy at Exxon, not for the lawyer who... Exactly. No matter how much you try to please every single person that's easily offended by something, you are not going to please everybody. Because people will always find something wrong with what you said they will always nitpick and find just something something you know that they can reach out that they can use as something that that, that bothers them so much it's going to get to the point where we're going to go back to you know the uh the uh, 1920s when um silent films were a thing you know what i mean we're all probably gonna go on in complete silent mode so that way there, there's no crying and bitching going on from anybody but then again, we might go freaking, we might go freaking dark because visually, because then, you know what I mean? If we, even if we go sign it, but you still have visuals, people are going to bitch about something visual that they don't like. You know what I mean? Like someone will say, oh, I'm, I'm offended by that, 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 by that, that, that canvas painting of that barn with the American flag on it. You know what I mean? So, okay, so what? So now we got to black out our screens and everything because your your sensitive little eyes can't take that image right there. You know what I mean? Or someone will be like, I don't like that. That country shirt he's wearing. You know what I mean? That's all black and, uh, you know, it's got the floor all over it, and all, all around his collar and shit. Like, you're not going to, bottom line is you're not going to please everybody. So why are we even trying to bother? Bruh, let's go. Make six figures a year. Nothing is all golden. For you to make something seem so flawless and so perfect, we both know what that really does. It actually brings stress to your life because you're trying to keep up with this persona of, oh yes, everything in my life is perfect. And that's not the case with everyone. Everyone should just be admitted to the fact that life is not all golden all the time. Now listen, not everybody is going to understand. He's right. Life ain't always all sunshine, butterflies, and rainbows. No, people go through shit no matter what. You know what I mean? That That's life. That's real life. You know what I mean? All the stuff you see in the movies, it's just that. It's just a movie. It's a film. It's Hollywood. It ain't real. You know what I mean? You're never going to live that perfect life. Like the like the characters you watch in your movies and your TV shows and whatnot. Bruh. Or can relate to what I'm about to say. But there are some people in the past few months that have hit me up for advice. We're not going to say those names because that's not what you do. These people are also uh, public uh, influencers. Uh, some of them are singers. Some of them are rappers. Asking me and telling me, bro, how do you deal with the comment section? How do you deal with what people say? How do you deal with trying to figure out what to say after this person says what they say? Here's what you do. You don't care what that person says. And I know there's going to be plenty of people in the comments. Or oh, if you didn't care, you wouldn't be making this video. No. <laughs> you can see the expression on my face. The stuff that is said to me does not bother me. I've been dealing with it for so many years that it's just become a game to me. And it's exactly. Like for me, for example, you know what I mean? I, I'm very selective when it comes to the comments. I see a comment that looks positive. I'm going to heart that comment. I'm going to like that comment. You know what I mean? And I may not respond to every single comment, but I will do my best to respond to some comments, you know what I'm saying, that are positive. You know what I mean? But then, you know, every now and again, I like to have my fun with, with the trolls, and I like to troll with them. You know what I mean? I'll troll them right back. You know what I mean? That's just something I like to do every once in a blue moon. You know what I mean? Or if I just don't care... To bother with the trolls, then I, like he said, I just don't care about them. I let them be. You know what I mean? It's only their comments only helps my engagement with my channel, which helps gets my numbers up. So basically, it doesn't matter if it's a good comment or or a bad comment. If you're getting uh, comments at all, that's a good thing. That's engagement for your channel. Even when they hit the uh, dislike. You know what I mean? That's a good thing. The dislike helps the YouTube algorithm to pick up your channel. You know what I mean? To spread all your, your video. To to spread your video all throughout the platform so more eyes can view your content. 
So any and all engagement, good or bad, it's either way, it's still engagement, which is all good. You know what I mean? Some of these haters and these trolls, they don't they don't think it. They they think we're we're BSing, but I mean, hey, any haters and trolls that are watching this video, feel free to test my theory. Go ahead and hit that thumbs down. Go ahead and leave a negative comment. See how many more views my chat my video will get after that. I, I'm telling you. Let's go. Sense. But some of these other people who are just now experiencing this type of behavior and it, and it affecting their personal life, this is why I make the video. Because you never know. Hell, a thousand people watching this video right now in the next two years could be famous. They could be going through this shit. But I'm saying this stuff for the people that I know right now. Man, let me tell you something. Last year, I was only around 200 and sub, some subs around this time. I was already going through it. People were already treating me like I was somebody. Whether they were giving me a positive comment or a negative comment, it didn't matter. I was already somebody to somebody because, you know, they bothered to take time out of their day that they're not getting back, you know what I mean, to interact with my with my content, which is all well and good for me. Bro, because look where I'm at now. Just saying. I've been hitting me up with personal problems due to being a public figure. Now listen, I know it's easier said than done. Oh, just don't read the comments or don't do that. This is why I paused the comments earlier because I wanted people to come watch this video. You guys, people who are other influencers and whatnot. Because here's the thing, once you're in this type of life, there's no getting out, okay? It's not saying you're Illuminati, this, that, and the other. Once you are in this life, you have to cope with this life. You have to learn how to play on it. Kind of like in kindergarten, when you see the big, huge jungle gym, you're like, shit, that's a really big ass jungle gym. I don't know if I can climb to the top. A week later, what are you doing? You're hanging off the top bar, upside down, showing your friends, you're climbing to the top like it ain't nothing. Some people learn how to climb the jungle gym. Some people are afraid of the jungle gym. And when you're afraid of the jungle gym and you try to climb the jungle gym, what happens? You fall and you get hurt. You got to be confident in everything you're doing. And that's how you learn, too, when you're playing on the jungle gym. And trust me, yeah, and he's right. When it comes to, you know, kindergarten, yeah, you look at the jungle gym and it's brand new to you. So, yeah, it could be a little intimidating when you're first seeing it. But then, like you said, by the next week, and yes, I'm no exception to that rule, I climbed on that jungle gym. I'm hanging on that bar you know what I'm saying, with my friends, and uh, some of my friends were, 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 were little little um, scumbags and um, would uh, introduce me to the game of chicken at, at, a, at an early age, literally wrapped their legs around my waist and yanked my ass right down, and yes, I fell a couple times, to, and one time when I fell, my hands were covered in blood, but that's what happens, you know what I mean? That's how you um, build up your, uh, your threshold of pain, by the way. So let's go. Another thing, you have to realize that every single thing you do is going to be under a magnifying glass. You are going to get a lot of good feedback. You're going to get a lot of shitty feedback. And I know, I know. True, true. When my channel was a lot smaller than it is now, I was already getting that. I was already getting either positive feedback or negative feedback. He's right. It don't matter. Let's go. People cling to the bad comments more than they do the good ones. That is something you're going to have to work through as well. Listen, I went through my phase of where I really cared what people thought. I really did. To the point where I have, and I have one of my assistants over here right now. He knows, dude, I have destroyed tens of thousands of dollars worth of furniture, slinging them out second story windows in my house. <laughs> Trevor, you fucker. <laughs> I went outside with a baseball bat and I have destroyed hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of cars. For what? Because of what somebody said? Not only what somebody said, what someone said who's not in this room right now. They're not in my yard right now. They're not in this county right now. They're not in this state right now. Some of them aren't even in this country right now. So what someone who didn't know anything about me has no say-so in my life had to say through digital text made me be angry in my actual life. Why? For real. 
Yo, and that's called giving them all that power. You know what I mean? To let so because basically what they did was they controlled him. They controlled his mood. They controlled basically his life. Like he said, like he admitted, you know what I mean? He let these people get to him. And that's why you can't, you can't let haters and, and or trolls, you know what I'm saying, get to you. You really cannot, you know what I mean? You can't let anyone dictate your life. The only one who should be in charge of your life is you. Just like who, just like I should be in charge of my own life, you know what I mean? I should not let anyone, you know, control my moods, you know what I'm saying? My emotions, you know what I mean? And what... My moves are when it comes to my music, my my channel, you know what I'm saying, and whatever else I got going on in life. You know what I mean? Because you're giving people more power over you than they deserve. You know what I mean? It's it's like giving those people free real estate in your head. Why are you doing that? They're, you know what I mean? What are they doing for you? You know what I mean? Are they paying your bills? Are they helping to keep a roof over your head? What what are they doing for you that would make you care about what what they have to say about you? You know what I mean. You gotta stop giving people power over you. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Let's go. Why? Why? That's, That's stupid, stupid right? right? That's, That's super, super stupid. stupid. But you know what? Guess whose fault that is? That's my fault. Mm -hmm. I let these people who aren't in my circle, who aren't my family members, who people who I really don't have an emotional attachment to, people who set out to get on here and ruin your day. But you know why they're ruining your day? They're ruining your day because they think their day is already ruined. They're weaker than you. Mm -hmm. Which is why they're getting on your stuff saying the things they are to you. Because if they get over... Exactly. It's it's that misery loves company mentality. Their day is, is fucked up. So they, they got nothing better to do with their time than to come to your channel and trying to fuck up your day. You know what I mean? Misery loves company. You know what I mean? Bruh. They say misery loves company. Well, I'm sorry, but y'all gonna have to get along without me because I'm out skis. If you know which one of my songs where I said that, man, then you, you really are a fam. You know what I'm saying? And I love you for that. Bruh. Bruh. Let's go. It's already ruined. They're weaker than you. Exactly. These people, and another thing too, before we move on, these people are the same people who have very little self-respect for themselves and have very little love for themselves because they're not doing anything productive with their lives. Which is why they're getting on your stuff saying the things they are to you. Because if they get over on you and make you feel some type of way where it shows on the internet, well, well, they just won. That's the biggest accomplishment they've had in the past fucking month, probably. And that is not a good thing for you. And it's not a good thing for the other person. I'll tell you something my grandfather used to tell me all the time. If somebody is giving you a hard time and bothering you and doing these types of things to you, it's one less person they're doing it to that can't take it. So what do you got to do? You got to run through it. You have to go through all these situations. You have to be put under this magnifying glass. You have to be pushed to your limits to the, to the point where you just want to break. And then you know what you don't do? You don't break. You don't even let them see a speck of it. Facts. And the one thing that I always said in this regard, in, in regards to something, things like this, if, if people have time to hate on the next person, that's actually doing something with their lives. That's actually being a productive member of society. Then those people have more free time on their hands than they deserve. And therefore, those people do not deserve your time. Because if they don't love themselves and respect themselves enough to do something productive with their lives, why are you going to let those people come to your life? And waste your time. Is it worth it? I don't think so. I have family members. Toxic family members. In my life. Trying to bring me down. Because. I'm actually doing something. And they're not. I have a guy. Who is. you know, There's a dude in my family. Who 
is worried about being the best video gamer in the world. Hey, more power to you, buddy. Have at it. I don't need it. It's not that important to me. You can have it. Just saying. Let's go. Hell, ignore, ignore them if you have to. Act like they don't even exist. Because if you're given a negative energy attention, it's just multiplying the negative energy. Especially if you have people that watch you and look up to you. And listen, I have not been the best influencer out there at all. I've done some pretty fucking dumb shit. So that's what we're doing. We're living and we're learning. And you're not going to know everything. Until the day you die, you're not going to know everything that you should have known. It's whether you give up or not. If you give up, well, you didn't, you didn't do your best, dude. If you don't give up and you keep trucking through it, then dude, at least when you're gone, you tried and did as much as you could to better mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. You know? 21-year-old me is not 29-year-old. Facts, man. You you keep trying. You can't fail from keep on from from keeping on trying. You know what I'm saying? You keep trying. You keep trying. You you put in all your energy and all your effort into what it is that that you're passionate about. You know what I mean? Right now, my passion is music. You know what I mean? I love reacting to other people's music. I love making my own music, and I love putting myself in the hot seat. So that way I could be on both sides of the spectrum, in the reaction spectrum, you know what I mean? Not only am I the reactor, but I'm also the reacted, you know what I mean? Bruh. But yeah, right now, music, that's my passion right now, and that's why I do what I do on here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do what I do with this microphone, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. And by the way, uh, as an update, I'm like halfway done with a Geminator production track that I am very excited about. So, and can't wait to finish that up, bro. Let's go. They're two separate people. It's whether you choose to let go. By the way, shout out to my man, Geminator J. You know what I mean? Let's find his back. And did as much as you could to better yourself. You know? 21 year old me is not 29 year old me. They're two separate people. It's whether you choose to let go. Just like, you know, 25-year-old me is not 35-year-old me. You know what I'm saying? I've done a lot of growing and a lot of maturing. You know what I'm saying? I've learned that when people, <clears throat> you know, get a little sideways with you, you know what I mean? They, they start acting a fool with you. I learned to cut those people out because I don't want to hear that nonsense. I don't want to be around no negativity, no toxicity. I just want to focus on, you know, getting my shit together and getting my life to where it needs to be. You know what I mean? And if the, and people want to come around and bring their, their negativity, bring their toxicity to me. No. You stay over there. I'll stay over here and stay busy. You know what I mean? While y'all do whatever it is that y'all do. You know what I mean? That ain't none of my business. What I do is my business. Let's go. The old person and advance some things about yourself to become this new person. And just like everything else in life, it's not given to you. Mm -hmm. And being a public figure is not something that you could just get a handbook for. Every public figure is different. Everyone True. I've said this too in past videos. If you want the best life that you can possibly live, if you want all the best things that life has to offer you, you got to get off your ass and go to work. Put your ass to work. You know what I mean? There's many opportunities out there, whether it's outside the internet or inside the internet. The opportunities are there. It is on you to get off your ass, look for it, and figure out how to work it to your benefit. Bruh. Everyone has a different audience. Everyone has a different day-to-day -day life. Everyone has a different skill, a different talent. Yep. Nothing is the same. Yep. And there have it, if you ask me personally, I don't think there's been famous people long enough for there to be a handbook. In this realm Facts. of life, the only way to get to the next level is get through the level. That's it. There's no cheating. There's no nothing. Right. I mean, unlike a video game, I was about to say like a video game, but technically, you know, there's some video games where you can utilize cheat codes. Well, retro games, you can utilize cheat codes. But anyway, that's not the point. It's like a video game, man. If you play it the right way, you play it from the start and you get and you want to get to all these other levels and everything, you got to go through the first level, second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level, and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? 
it's no different than like, like like he said when you're when you're working right and you want to get to that next level you gotta work that level that you're at you know what i mean and once and when it, when it's time for you to be done with that level then you'll you'll elevate to that next level you know what i mean you gotta work for it you have to earn it right you are gonna have emotional breakdowns you are gonna give a shit about what people think you are gonna do all these things but are you gonna let the people watch you break or are you gonna let the people watch you build on top of what they're trying to break they don't like your hobby well they're not doing it so who cares they did i not just say that <laughs> you know what i mean people don't like what you're doing who cares what are they doing who cares <laughs> you know what i mean bro they don't like who you're dating oh well they're not sleeping beside the person you're dating they don't like what choices you've made in the past month. Well, you haven't really looked into what they're doing in the last month, so I don't think that matters either. They don't. Facts, man. You don't like who I'm dating? Well, hey, that's fine. You don't have to suck my eggplant. This person that I'm dating, that's that's their job. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh, let's go. Like who you choose to be friends with. Not their friends. You know what you do? You turn this off and you get it back to you. And you simply go do you. Whatever you feel like doing, go do it. Don't be like, oh, well, shit. I wonder what this person will think about me doing that. And I wonder what they'll say on the internet about me. Doing. Stop it. Just, just fucking stop. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's okay to have a normal portion of your life. It's okay to be a common person with an uncommon life. Mm -hmm. If you're an uncommon person with an uncommon life, you're going to have very uncommon things happen to you. Mm -hmm. And if you're not any form of common, if you ask me, you're not going to know how to deal with those issues. You're going to be asking a bunch of other people who don't live your life to figure out your life for you while they're living another life. Mm -hmm. Put the phone down sometimes. Go back to you. The mm -hmm. world will be here when you're done doing it. Yep. And that goes. It's like I said in my recent song, you know what I mean? Um, need some sleep. You know what I mean? Enjoy the pit stops along the way. That was my way of saying, "Yo, yes, you know what I mean. You want, you want to, you want to keep grinding. You want to keep going. You know what I mean. I get it, but you know, like like he said, the world's not going anywhere. Everything is still gonna be here. It's okay for you to take time for yourself. Stop and smell the roses. You know what I mean. Take time to stop and smell the roses. You know what I mean. Go outside. You know what I mean. And uh, and." Enjoy the uh, beautiful scenery, you know what I mean? Like, if it's a beautiful day out, go outside, enjoy the beautiful scenery, you know what I mean? Play, or if you don't want to leave, you want to stay indoors, well, go watch a movie, go play a video game, or go find a hobby that you can do that doesn't involve the internet, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a friend of mine who who is who is taking up uh, making candles. Okay, cool, nice. Nice little arts and crafts uh, hobby you got going on there. I even told her, too, yo, when... You, when um when you when you make your like first candle or whatever or you make your first couple of candles like, let me let me have one I, I would love to check out your candles i want to see how they come out so yeah that's gonna be dope i can't wait for that but yeah like he said you know you you work with when you need when work when you when you need to you know what i'm saying but then take time for yourself stop and smell the roses enjoy your pit stop like i said in my song enjoy your pit stop you know what i'm saying for every type of person in the world. Because guess what? At the end of the day, we all start out common as fuck. He's got a point there. Yep, that's true. Bruh. I'm gonna get you, you little rascal. <laughs> Bruh. I think that was from his big schmo roast video. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, you little rascal. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was my man Ryan Upchurch with "I'm Leaving the Internet." And yo, um, I was feeling this one 100. My man done touched on a lot of points. Yo, like my man said, you worry about doing you. You know what I mean? People got a problem with it. Oh well, fuck them, fuggins. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. I mean, they ain't sucking your d. They ain't paying your bills. You know what I'm saying? They ain't doing jack. Well, if they're doing two, two things for you, like jack and shit, fuck them. Who cares what they say? You know what I mean? 
know what I mean? You you do you. Do what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? Get yours. All right? And don't let people drag you down and make you feel down. You know what I mean? Whether it's strangers on the internet leaving these trollish comments. You know what I mean? Or people in your life that are being toxic. You know what I'm saying? Cut ties. Don't be afraid to cut ties. That's what I did. You know what I mean? I cut ties from people who are, who are being toxic and were trying to drag me down because they had nothing better to do with their lives. And look what it's doing for me. I'm happy. You know what I mean? I'm doing what, what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's working out wonders for me. Bruh. Alright, y'all. So, obviously, as you can tell, I'm feeling this vlog 100% so much so. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hook my man up with a likey like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, there we go. So, yeah. If y'all are feeling this reaction, y'all know what to do with that thumbs up down below. Y'all know what to do with that comment section down below. And if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciated. And hopefully I did enough to earn your subscription so you can be a part of the Jason JV Ranger Squad family. We very much love to have you as part of the team. Yeah, what I mean. Don't forget to check out the uh, social media links and the music links where you can find me and my music. You know what I'm saying? We greatly appreciate that. And uh, also, uh, check out the uh, link for the Teespring merch store in the description down below as well. And uh, if you want to just donate to the cause, you want to help out the channel, uh, link for the PayPal is in the description down below as well. If you absolutely cannot support the channel financially, no worries. It's all good. Trust me, I totally understand. No hard feels. You are... Still helping out by simply clicking that subscribe button, dinging that notification bell, and uh, make sure you select all so you never miss an upload, which doesn't cost a single red cent, but a, but it's still a big help nonetheless. My bad, y'all. I just realized that my alarm clock was off, so I had to hit the switch to turn it back on. So, my bad. Um, but yeah, y'all, uh, where was I? Still a big help nonetheless. And uh, don't forget to also uh, like and share my video so more eyes can be on the channel. If you're new here, <laughs> bruh, let me try it again. If you're new here, of course, and of course, like and share my video so more eyes can be on the channel. Since teamwork makes the dream work, best believe I cannot be picked up on the YouTube algorithm without y'all. And I <laughs> recognize. And I think I nailed everything, guys. I hope. <laughs> so with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. Saying once again, shout out to my Creek Squad fam who are also my day ones. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all very much. You know what I mean? Appreciate y'all's support. Means a lot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah. So y'all have a blessed one. I catch y'all in the next one. All right? Peace. Creek Squad.